Okay, here we go, cobweb. Let's do it. When most of the story rests upon the shoulders of a kid, I, I just, I feel like it's going to take me out of it. I'm an old man. I want to see more people about old movies. Wait, more movies about old people. I think Lizzie Kaplan was in Mean Girls. Yes, she was. She plays the mom in this movie, I think. Hmm, substitute must be in class today. Music by Drum and Lace. It's probably just like one person with a fake band name. <laughs> See, I can just tell by these opening shots, the color grading is like so cool. And, and the way they, the set dressing of everything, I mean, it looks like a stylized haunted house. I don't know, there's just so much artifice involved in it that, like, you're not creating atmosphere. You're just creating a semblance of an atmosphere. I'm only two minutes into the movie, I'm already complaining. You know, who has a rotting pumpkin patch hanging out in their front yard? Yeah, pumpkins are spooky! I hope it's not like the Babadook film. I liked the Babadook, personally. I know people tend to think that the little kid character is very annoying. You, you watch the movie, by the end, you completely and totally understand why he is the way that he is. Uh, and I, I was able to forgive it. I, I realize that's an unpopular opinion. He, he, he's one of the least liked horror movie characters, uh, if you were to take a consensus. Along with Franklin from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Personally, I don't think either of them have anything on Annie from uh, Dashcam. Seth Rogen, producer. Great. He's got his hands in everything now. This director, Samuel Bowden, I looked him up. He's done some TV shows and stuff before, but this is like his first big feature. Which one was Franklin? The one in the wheelchair. This is like one week before Halloween. If they're growing pumpkins to sell them, why do they look so crappy so early? Nobody wants to buy a half-rotten pumpkin before Halloween. <laughs> Loud noise? Oh. Loud noise? No. House could use a coat of paint. Buy gum. <gasps> How do you not see that? You're looking down the whole time. Students. Who's that? I know who that is. Hi. Who is that? Cleopatra Coleman. Yeah, uh, God, what do I know her from? Yeah, yeah, Infinity Pool. She was the wife in Infinity Pool. Okay. This is Miss Divine. Miss Divine. They should just have the actual Divine come in, eat some dog shit in As front of the students. Just... Recess is coming. Stab that kid in the cheek with a fork. Oh! Hi. You were supposed to be at recess. I never left. Oh, I... So did he come back to class or just never left and she didn't bother to notice him until now? I, I love Halloween. I don't want to move. Do you know what you're going as? A disturbed child. I want to trick or treat. All the other kids at school get to do it. We're not their parents. Maybe you should be. You know the old house uh, down the end of the lane with the boarded windows? The little girl that lived there, she vanished on Halloween. It was a very traumatic event, and I personally don't like remembering it. Because you killed her and she's in the wall now. Am I going to disappear? Of course not. There's no more room in the wall. God damn, did J.J. Abrams make that flashlight? Jump scare? Oh. Oh no, the wall has a belly button. Jump scare. Peter. Daddy! No, Peter. Eh, that doesn't really count. You know what? I admit it's rats. Don't breathe into the bag, stupid. Oh, be careful. Not everything's as sweet as it seems. Oh, that's not a portentous line. Pete, we can't have rats. They, they spread disease. Not to mention keep you up all hours of the night. You're ruining your parents' sex life. Nevermore. Another common trope. The psychologically disturbing child art. Yeah, I just wanted to come over and, and check on him. I do appreciate your concern, though. <laughs> oh, that imagination of yours, Peter. It's going to get you into trouble one day. I just want to talk. Can you give me some more of that Please rat poison? It's really delicious. But it seems to me like you could use a friend. I know I could, but if you don't want one, I'll just leave. Wait, don't go. 
I'm sorry. Peter, this is great. What's his name? It's a fucking pumpkin. Hector's going to get smashed, isn't he? <gasps> Stop! Please! Well, it's too late now. Did someone hurt you? Mm. Brian. But I believe in you, Peter. What is this dialogue? Ugh, God. I'm sorry for breaking your pumpkin. Here is a new one. He has a pair of tits for a nose. You're welcome. I'm sorry, Peter. Yeah. That was very nice of Brian, wasn't it, Peter? No. Show him you're not afraid anymore. Make him afraid of you. Why does the little ghost girl sound like my dad after he's had a six pack? Stairs. Well, why did you push him off the landing then? Peter! Did I really hurt her? No, you did not! No! Bad dog! Go to your room! No, no, no! Okay, so how old do you think Peter is here? And this is the first time in his life that he has ever been insolent, the first time he's ever misbehaved and they show him the secret punishment door. Okay, sure. We're doing this because we love you. Because we love you. He's a very rude man. The child, I agree. Am I mistaken in thinking that this is the first time he's actually been punished in this way? Because he looked at the door like it was the first time he had ever seen it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't say either way, but that's kind of an incredulous look. He appears as if it's the first time he's ever seen the door. Maybe not. Does he wet himself? Is he talking about sex or other things a boy his age shouldn't know about? No. And unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. There are a lot of Peters. Delicate little kids you want to protect from life's cruelties, but you can't. Doesn't an educator have an obligation to look into... I mean, I know... It's just a, a picture, and it isn't that big of a deal. Dude, I drew horrible drawings all over my homework my entire life. But that's because I was into monster movies and stuff, you know? My question is, how did the principal, which I'm assuming that's who this guy is, how did he find out about it? Did Peter's mom drop a dime on him? Interesting looking toy. It's got a full set of dentures. Holden Field. How close can you get to Haddon Field without being sued? He's coming by to drop off his last math test. That's wonderful. You can hang it on the fridge. You're bleeding. Just doing some remodeling. <laughs> uh, it's a little extra flavor for your coffee. Spirited boy. He's a willful boy. Do you have any idea where Peter will be going to school? Of course we do. In the basement. No, we're not going to give our son away. Thank no. You. Do you think that I'm the kind of mother that would harm my child? Probably. The Enough. audacity of this woman! <laughs> she hasn't said anything! Ah! You're a miracle and I would never give up on you. Peter's a miracle. An instant. Okay, I don't care how loud the washing machine is. If he could hear their average volume conversation from the bottom of the stairs, they're definitely going to be hearing him standing at the door screaming for help. Jeez, Mr. She just smash out her tail light as she drives away. <laughs> I thought they didn't celebrate Halloween. So what's with all the pumpkins and the cupcakes? Pumpkin? For our pumpkin. Ugh. And no more nightmares. No more. Yeah, I promise. No more nightmares. I'm very proud of you, bitch. Maybe you could get my face, Mom. I'm sure my back is fine. It's the face. Got a little schmutz on there still. Or how about letting me bathe myself? Freak. Jump scare? Is she a big rat girl? Spider girl, maybe? I'm your sister. Cute. Big enough to move the clock that hides the door. Big enough. 
weak enough to help me escape. Don't leave the dark. Don't leave the wall. You need to be scared. Mom and Dad, they're evil, Peter. I wish I had a rotating teddy bear rug. was a ghost lady, it's it's his mom. Or maybe he's dreaming, and the rotating rug is somehow evidence that he is not Peter. really awake. <laughs> Look what you've done to your mother, Peter. <laughs> she gonna do jazz hands? Jump scare. So there was like one quick image they showed there I want to uh... Yeah, well, okay, what the hell is this? This is the his sister, right? Um What is that? It's on the side of the wall there. There's his door I'm assuming and a headless corpse of some kind. That's some long-ass Rapunzel hair. Mom and Dad, if they hate me, Peter, they'll kill me. And I'll put you in the wall. No. No, I'm way cooler than you. Them. They won't kill anybody. They already have. You need to see what's buried in the garden. I really don't like these interactions that he has with the girl on the wall because she doesn't talk like a normal child. This is not like a normal conversation that kids would have with each other. Maybe whenever you uh, turn into a ghost girl that lives in the walls, you uh, start to speak like a hack writer. It's my teddy bear's other set of false teeth. That kid wasn't buried very deep. You would think like cats would be scratching at it or flies would be buzzing around. What are you doing? Whatever, there's no real world logic to this crap. I was just fucking this pumpkin, mom. It was Halloween. A trick or treater came to the door, and she saw me. They killed her, Peter. I'm gonna get you out of there, and then we're never gonna run away. We're gonna be a family. A real one. I don't have a lot of luck with these Reddit recommendations. What did you say? I need your help. Hello. Unfortunately, his shy streak seems to have gotten the best of him. Number one, why would the mother answer the phone? Number two, why, if she believed that the boy was actually in danger, would the teacher say anything if the mother answered the phone? Why wouldn't she just immediately hang up? Better luck next time, I suppose. <sighs> so she doesn't know what's best for you. She doesn't love you the way your father and I do. Like, you can compare this to so many other, like, person in the walls movies. When I see this, like, I'm reminded of stuff like People Under the Stairs. You know, where the parents were actual total psychopaths. These people, they're just kind of strict. I mean, yeah, the basement behind their fridge is, uh, cruel and unusual. But it's like, how did the kid make it up to this age? I don't know. I mean, he did seem kind of withdrawn from the beginning, but it just, it just feels a little off to me. What, what did she tell you? Whatever happens next, it'll be your fault. Just wait until your father gets home. Ugh, Lizzie Kaplan did a remake of Fatal Attraction. Peter, they're going to kill us. You have to do something. Okay, if this ends up being something like the ghost girl in the wall is actually some sort of evil demon or something and the parents have uh, kept her restrained in the walls because she's the bad evil demon thing that killed the girl down the lane and like all of this stuff about the parents being creepy and sinister and weird is like subterfuge it's it's just gonna ring so hollow with me. It's gonna be so lame. When I get home tomorrow, you'll help me out in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that their house? I thought they don't celebrate Halloween, even though they live in a pumpkin patch. It's Black Rod. 
killing off the whole garden. Man, blight like this it spreads fast. Get rid of it now, or, or all the healthy pumpkins will get infected. Yeah, we get it. It's like children. We pumpkins are like children. And we're gonna hope that the next crop is better. Yes, I understand. You're talking about me and my sister. Ham-handed. Ham-handed. Yeah. Oh no, you can tell he's evil because he has a man bun. Wicked. Damn, two candle pumpkin. I am really annoyed by these like twisting camera shots. This is supposed to be spooky. I'm tired of eating pumpkins. Maybe turn your porch light off. Maybe not have a jack-o'-lantern. Porch light off. Yes. What is that, cream of crap? It's black rot porridge. Your favorite. Did you do something different with the soup tonight? I didn't add as much children as usual, sorry. I mean, it's delicious. It just tastes a little different. Like, uh, it's got rat poisoning in it? Hmm. It smells like cinnamon. It smells like cinnamon. Hmm. Wait a minute, if he's not eating, and we are, duh, duh. Hold on, I gotta think about this for an hour or so. I'll be back, I'm going to the garage. Have you done something? He's a very willful boy. <laughs> what, I took a cooking class. What did you do? You hurt my sister. Going. Call 911! Stock vomit sound effect. I mean, he's also making noise, but the sound guy added one. Man, it was fast acting on him. Like, if it's a thing, if it's a thing where, like, Peter is crazy or he's being influenced by a demon and his parents are actually somewhat innocent, although extremely strict, uh, to the point of, you know, I still consider that basement thing to be abuse, but, uh, comparatively, they're not as evil as they seem. I'm still gonna have a problem with the movie. Why would she grab a knife and chase her son? Damn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's gonna be exactly as I... Uh, uh, I've been noticing all of the, like, family photos in the background and stuff, too, and, like, he's he's all smiley in all of them. Did you do it? Are they gone? Do you have the keys? The clock? Symbolism. It's like a little mouse apartment. It's cute. Wait for it. It's not as jump scary as I imagined it would be. Good boy, Peter. What was it like watching him die? It's pretty cool. Just like the girl in the garden. Hey, Peter, you alone in there? We just came by to say hi. Oh, they need to have like a body count. So that's why the bully and I'm assuming his brother and pals are showing up in the pedo van. They're there to get killed by the monster girl. Here's the question, though. How did the parents get like, how did they trap her in the walls in the first place? Are they even going to bother to explain that? We've seen the strangers, like, ten times in a row. Also, if they're just going to, like, yell at him from outside the house, they don't know that his parents are dead, which I'm not even sure they actually are. How do these idiots not think that, like, that his parents wouldn't just immediately see them not open the door and call the cops? Oh, this is dumb. I like his monkey mask, though. Oh, you're in here! With no adult supervision! <sighs> I hate music. <laughs> okay. They're not putting a whole lot of thought into this entire operation. 
Oh, there we go. It's just some long-haired lady. Spider-Man powers like Tony Collette. It didn't look like blood either. It looked like diarrhea, which would make sense. Oh, Ryan, my leg! It's got my leg! What do you expect him to do? He's like 12 years old and he's got a bum leg. Kid looks like a young Gary Busey. Jump scare? Now? Oh, slightly off. What did you say? Why do we... Why do we need that flashback? No! What was the purpose of that? When you were born, they were so happy when I was born. I screamed, so daddy made me a pit. Then he made me a cage while you were whining in this warm bed. Uh, it was smoking cigarettes. Was learning how to climb, how to bite. <laughs> she was raised by spiders. You'll be safe in here. You know, if I was her, the first thing I'd do is go to a beautician, trim off some of those split ends, you know? So he just has like an evil freak sister then, right? Who also has some sort of supernatural mutant spider ability. To... <laughs> Comes Miss Divine here to save the day with her thick thighs. Peter. She's not gonna get the Scatman Crothers treatment, is she? I don't think so. Somebody let a beaver in here? Oh, I can't tell. Does she at least have like some extra limbs? Is her face gonna look kind of spidery at least? I mean, she can rip what a human being in half. I don't think that's gonna- It's my sister. I've seen The Shining before. Oh God. See, with all these doors opening and closing by themselves, there has to be some extra supernatural element to the whole thing, right? I still don't know why you would put Grandpa's dentures on the teddy bear. Makes no sense. Face reveal. Not every child can be as perfect as- Wait a minute, no lip sync? Not moving the mouth at all? It's Grim Cuddy! It's just fucking Grim Cuddy. If you hurt him, I'll fucking kill you. There's something wrong with her frame rate. You know, I was going to mention earlier that having long hair in a combat situation is never a good idea. Like, you can control her so easy. Which, by the way, okay. He, 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 <laughs> he's fighting with his... Supernatural spider sister, right? I can only assume that it's some sort of um, Samson situation and her hair is just her weak point because she's ripping apart people with her bare hands, biting their heads off. But, you know, the, the little boy's strength is good enough to... Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit her in the ovaries! <laughs> it's got a face like Ted Nugent. Do you really think this is gonna keep me down here? I mean, it worked so far. When you lie in bed, you wonder if you love the door. Bitch, I'm staying at the Best Western. I'm not hanging around here. We're going to the Hilton. Every tap in the wall, you'll think of me. Jump scare. They're really sluggish with their jump scares in this movie. Wait. Is that it? Are you serious? I am never, never taking a recommendation from Reddit ever again. I saw so many threads being made about this movie. And a lot of them were like asking like, could someone explain this to me? What, what do you need explained? They didn't even bother to like 
flesh out the story for themselves when they made the movie. It's just whatever. Spooky spider ghost sister. Whatever. Ooh, it's spooky. Like, I was thinking there's some sort of, like, like psychological aspect. Like, they were gonna maybe have a super ambiguous ending where it's like, was she ever real or is Peter just some sort of baby nutcase? But they, they didn't even do that. I mean, it still would have sucked, but it would have been better than what we actually got. Not every child can be as perfect as you, Peter. They didn't even bother to have to animate the mouth. Want... That's Cobweb, a.k.a. Grim Cuddy 2. Didn't like it. Don't know if you could have, you know, discerned that. But I was not having fun. Pretty unoriginal story. I don't like the mid-2000s overproduced spookiness aesthetic of it. Story was lame. I guess for what he was doing, the kid wasn't a bad actor as far as child actors go. He didn't do anything particularly annoying. I don't blame... Most of the problems with the movie just come from uh, the script and the direction. I think the cinematographer tried. Yeah, man, mediocre. I give this like a two, two and a half, something like that. Well, two and a half's like average, right? Yeah, two and a half. I mean, I suppose you could say that the direction was competent, but it, it, it's a lot of like needless, like, these are the things that you do in a horror movie. So this is what I am doing in a horror movie. I was surprised at the... I, I thought that there were going to be way more jump scares than there actually was. They did at least try to build up a creep factor by prolonging things, but that also ended up annoying me too because it's like, get to, get to the thing already. We're waiting. Get to the thing. I have no idea what all the kids on Reddit are talking about. I, I can only assume that most of the people talking about this movie are too young to have any frame of reference to like, I guess this is all new to them. I, 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 like, I don't know. But I've seen this type of thing a billion times before. The, the bait and switch was unearned, also obvious. Man, if I wanted to say like one good thing about it. Man, I didn't really like the acting of the parents. They were really playing it up. I think mix all of that in with like the ham-handed script and, and it just like made for an overall I i'm not gonna remember this like in a week i'm not gonna remember that i even watched this while i was watching this earlier you know i was thinking of like other movies that did it better i kept wanting this to be something like people under the stairs you know where you were dealing with a you know, real psychotic mom and dad that, you know, were evil and were doing evil shit, but... Nah. Bait and switch. They didn't... I'm assuming the parents did not kill the girl that was buried in the pumpkin patch. They didn't really spell it out, but I'm assuming Spider Girl was responsible for that somehow, even though she had to have been locked up in the walls by the... Like, how do you... How do you raise a child up to that point I mean, she was Hugo from the Treehouse of Horror episode, right? What would have been cool is if they did like a Hugo spin on it and you find out that, no, the spooky spider girl is actually nice. And like after uh, Peter lets her out, she's like, Peter, why'd you kill our parents? That wasn't necessary. I just wanted you to let me out. Dude, that's that's messed up. And then they put Peter in the wall instead. Can I have some turkey? Oh, you finish your fish heads, then we'll talk. Let's 